Hello everyone, today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to download and install a mod for TEW 2005. Alright, first thing, let's open up our browser window here. We're going to navigate to the EW Warehouse web page. And from there, just click on the download tab here. Uh, navigate down until you find the mod you wish to download. I'm going to just do the May here. <clears throat> Alright, once it's downloaded, we're going to exit out of this. Then we're going to go to the location it's saved at. Mine's going to be saved in my downloads folder. Yours might be different. Alright, so we find it. Right click. Extract files. Or extract all, I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, here's all of our files for the game. The next step, we're going to go to TW 2005. Mine runs off an external drive, so I'm just going to take a second here. <clears throat> I just opened it up. Sometimes you have problems on, <coughs> on certain computers, so we're going to just exit back out of this. And what we're going to do is right click, run as administrator. Yes. All right, now what we're going to do here, we're going to just go to the editor, create database, uh, name it whatever you want. I'm going to be May 2011. All right, it says the database has been created and we've been switched to it. So we're going to close this back out. Now we're going to go to the data folder here. Now we find where you saved it. This is May 2011. All right, it's pretty simple from here out. We just go to the original download here. Make sure you highlight all of this except the readme file. You don't need that. And we're going to just drag it into this folder. And just select yes for the next 25 conflicts or however many. Copy and replace. All right, now go back done with this. Run as administrator. Allow. Alright, now just check. New game. We'll begin new game here. As you can see, we've installed the real world mod. And no, it did not switch us to that. So we're going to go back. Database options. All right, it was on 1995. So now just select May 2011. Select. Close. An easier way to check is just head into the editor. Go to edit database. Database info. And as you can see, there it is. So. You're all set. Now when you start a new game, you should be ready to go. And of course, because this database is so large, freaking 2,751 or whatever there, it's going to take a while to go through this and start your game. The first couple days are probably going to be pretty long and agonizing if you have a slow computer, but they speed up as you get playing, so it's not too bad. Alright, this is again just to make sure that this game really is the database you downloaded. I just type in blah, whatever.
these are blank because I haven't installed the logos and stuff. You can also find them on the site, but I didn't do it for this. So yes, this is the right database and that's how you install one.